Hi, I am Dr. Ramanjanailu, gastroenterologist and hepatologist from the Star Hospital. A diabetes can affect the liver in various ways, but one of the commonest problems which we see in day-to-day -day practice is the non-alcoholic fatty liver. Diabetic individuals are most often, they, they are little obese and they can have an uncontrolled diabetes and they have, most often, they do have a hyper uh, or an, a dyslipidemia, that means increase in the cholesterol or in a triglycerides. And these are the things which predispose a, a one individual uh, to the non-alcoholic fatty liver. That means the, the diabetic individuals, they have an increased tendency to have a non-alcoholic fatty liver Non-alcoholic fatty liver is nothing but it's the deposition of the fat in the liver and most often this fatty liver or uh, fat in the liver cells that is hepatocytes is silent but occasionally it can damage the liver cell that is hepatocyte. In certain uh, individuals, maybe less than 1 to 2 uh, or 1 to 10 percent of the individuals this fatty liver or a fat in the liver can damage the hepatocytes resulting in a chronic liver disease. That means it can cause state of hepatitis resulting in a chronic liver disease which may go on to a cirrhosis of liver. Occasionally it can uh, have an hepatocellular carcinoma that is liver cancer. So it is important, uh, not only that, diabetic individuals, they do have an increased association or chance of having an hepatitis C virus is high. And all these factors may lead to a fatty liver, which may progress to a chronic liver disease and its attendant complications. So it is important for the diabetic individuals who are little obese or who are little sedentary to check for the fatty liver with an ultrasound abdomen or sonography of an abdomen and also a periodic liver function test. But one who has an, this fatty liver, uh, diabetic individual who has a fatty liver, it's important that they should uh, have a good control of a diabetes and have a moderate to moderate physical activity so that this fatty liver deposition doesn't occur whereby you can avoid the fatty liver and its attendant chronic liver disease. So it is important for a diabetic individual also to look at the liver whether they have an associated non-alcoholic fatty liver and at the same time it goes that diabetic individuals, it is better to avoid alcohol because that can also deliver a fat deposition in the liver. Hence, the lifestyle modification, good control of a diabetes, having an, uh, like, ha having an, uh, good lifestyle uh, may uh, decrease the chance of it going into a chronic liver disease. Thank you.